Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of RC Classic Garage. And today you join me as the E-Type goes to William Haynes to have some of the issues we spoke about in episode one uh, addressed. And then just to recap from episode one, the car really has three issues. One is the car is really difficult to start when it's cold. We suspect that this is a carb issue, either the choke or worn diaphragms. The car also has low compression on number one cylinder and the solenoid is giving a little bit of uh, hassle um, and it is not engaging every time when starting. So the car is loaded into the trailer, uh, ready to be transported to William Haynes, uh, where it will be given a full detailed inspection upon arrival. So you're joining me in William Haynes workshop where the car has had a full detailed inspection and a report with over five pages of detail. As usual, there is good news and bad news. The good news is although the compression is slightly lower on number one, it does not warrant a head coming off or full engine rebuild. And the bad news is there's a number of original hoses and brake lines on the car which do need replacing. So after a discussion with William, we have agreed a way forward with the car. And that would be to remove the carbs and give them a good clean and rebuild, replacing diaphragms and ensuring that the choke works effectively. To fit the new starter motor, but also fit new earth cables, which could have been adding to the issue. Fitting the new electronic 123 distributor. And also then going around the car and looking at all the brake lines, hoses, and odd nuts and bolts which need to be replaced and tidied up. So here we have the carbs removed, they're on the workbench and work has started on the carburetors. The carburetors did require quite extensive work and actually needed to be sent off to be machined. Here they are on return and being reassembled with new SU carb kits. And after some extensive work at William Haynes, the car is now being delivered back home. And yeah, the car is parked back in the garage. And as you can see, the carbs have been rebuilt and they're back on the car. So as I said, quite extensive work done to them. Uh, quite a lot of rebuilding, remachining and choke settings redone. So the old heavy starter motor has been replaced and it's been replaced with a new high torque gear reduction Lucas starter motor. So the new 123 distributor has also been fitted to the car. So the car previously did not have a battery clamp. So we have put in a standard Jaguar battery clamp and it has required a new battery to be fitted. Uh, because it due to the size so the previous battery was too big to finish the clamp so it has got a new battery as well as a new battery clamp. at the same time all the terminal cables were replaced which again has given much more uh, voltage to the starter motor and helps the car to spin over a lot more quickly and if we look at the effect that this has now had on the car turn on the ignition pull out the choke taking the car for a test drive, there is a vast improvement. The car has a lot more power than it previously had, but also the accelerator pedal is a lot easier to press. It used to be very stiff before, and this seems to have eased up. So a lot better driving experience. So as you can see, there's been a vast improvement in the car, but again, it was supplied back with a detailed checkout report. And as I mentioned earlier, there are a number of items that we will need to address in future episodes that we will do. So what we will do is we will address the other items on the report going forward. Those are anywhere from blower motors not working, oil pressure gauge is not working again. Uh, there has also been some corrosion that has been found on the left passenger floor well. That will need to be addressed. Uh, and we will also need to look at having a new exhaust fitted to the car pretty soon. This together with a number of minor items, as I said, that will be addressed over the next few episodes. Uh, so please stay tuned. So again, thank you all for watching another episode of RC Classic Garage, where again, we bring in the Survivor E-Type back to life, making it run a lot better with some sympathetic modernized upgrades.